All right, guys, so in order to work with the TR8 and Ableton, um, specifically to sample some drum loops from the TR8 into Ableton and work further with it, uh, first of all, we got to make sure that the TR8 syncs to Ableton, Ableton being the master. So we're going to go into preferences, and we're going to make sure that on the output side, MIDI output, when MIDI, uh, TR8 is um, enabled. So we go to TR8 and turn on the sync feature. Uh, it's very easy to find. I have a lot of devices connected. So it's a long laundry list. And so uh, the glory the good thing about, about this is that we don't have to rely on the internal sample, sample library of Ableton and we can use the, the analog warmth and you know the, the slightly different sounds, I should say. Nothing's better. It's just different sounds of you know an 808 or 909 coming through the TR8. So uh, we just uh, we're working on an arrangement here and we decided we didn't like our kick drum. So we're going to use um, the TR8 and we programmed it's actually a simple pattern four on the floor. So we programmed that. And now when Ricky is going to hit play on on um, on Ableton. Yep. So that's our groove. And I'm going to turn this up a little bit so you can hear it. Obviously don't judge it by the sound. I'm just holding up an iPhone. So no kick at this point. And then he's going to bring in the kick. Go for it, bro. Uh, trust me when I tell you, this is a very, very rich kick. And so now the nice thing is we can play with the tone settings. The tune settings, uh, the compressor, the attack, and all that till we get it right. So, in, so till it meshes with the sound of the song, you know, the tune of the song. Um, and we just decided on, you know, the certain amount, of, the right amount of tune, the right amount of compression, the right amount of decay, and the right amount of attack on this 808 snare. All right, so um, Ricky is now going to record it into Ableton, and the kick drum comes in on channel three in um, Ableton. Three. So this is where the kick drum comes in. I'm going to point this up here. It's a little hard. We're not doing a screenshot. And I'm going to enable this audio track. And here it is. Here we're recording. Sorry for this not probably being a high quality here. Uh, there you go. I just focused on it. And here, as you can see, the kick drum is coming in. This is just that. And it goes through USB. All right, I think that's enough. I'm doing some variations here with the kick, it's always nice, and that's also being recorded. So done, so I can just turn this off here, and we have it recorded. Perfect, very simple. Um, Ricky is just going to show you how to apply that into into the track. And he might not even have to stop the sequencer. Oh, you want me to go to the check? All right, so. All right. So this is the current arrangement, and this could be a new track or not. Doesn't matter. And this yellow line here, three audio, is the kick drum. So to speaker, and it comes in nice and fast. Very simple. So this is one of the tricks of the trade of working with external MIDI in Ableton. Ableton was set to 120, and the device here, the TR8, was synchronizing its tempo to it. So now we have some nice samples that we can play with in Ableton. Thanks a lot. Um, massive Beats and Ricky Flynn from the Command Ship out.